Hello, I'm Mick. So, let's see kung ano yung mga features and functionalities ng system na makakatulong sa inyong negosyo. So, ngayon, nandito tayo sa login page. So, mag-login tayo using the administrator account. Ngayon, nandito tayo sa sales page. So, ito mga component ng ating sales page. So, sa taas, yung top menu button. And then, sa right side, yung ating numpad. At sa bottom, is yung product category. So, itong product category, Kinik nyo to, lalabas yung mga item sa category na yun. So, pakita ko sa inyo kung paano mag ng item. So, there are two ways kung paano tayo mag ng item. Number one is yung manual adding. Sa so, manual adding, open natin yung navigation. Then, punta tayo ng stock. Then, products. So, sa general tab, makikita po natin yung mga fields ng item. So, reference. And then, pwede nyo rin lagyan ng barcode. Name, short name. And then, dito malalagay natin yung category ng item para mas madali siyang mahanap kapag magkagawa tayo ng sales. And then, sell, sell price, buy price. So, buy price para ito yung base price, yung presyo ng ating item from our product supply. And then, may promotion. Kung may promotion yung item natin, pwede rin natin ilagay. And then, supplier. Pwede nyo ring ilagay yung supplier ng item nyo. Then, later on, makikita nyo dun sa reports yung mga items dun sa supplier. So, para hindi po kayo mahirapan sa inyong pag-purchase. So, sa stock tab, ito may mga additional properties pa yung uh, mga item na pwede nyo ilagay. Like, kung discountable ba yung item na yun, pwede nyo i-on off. And then, pwede nyo ring i-indicate kung service item ba yun or hindi. And then, for the restaurant, sa mga food business, pwede nating iset yung item na ma-print siya sa kitchen printer. Masiset rin natin yan dito. So, image, pwede nyo lagyan yung in ng image yung item. And then, some other properties. So, yan yung one way paano mag-add ng item. Another way is yung CSP upload. For business na maraming items like grocery stores. So, hassle kapag yun ang gagamitin nila. Itong one by one. So, we need another tool. That's the CSV uploading. So, puntahan natin yun. Let's go to tools. Import CSV. So, here, you can upload a CSV sheet. Pakita ko yung sample. So, here's our example. So, dito, i-list natin lahat ng item ng ating business. And then, once you updated this, pwede natin siyang i-upload sa ating system one time. So, uh, it's a hassle-free tool. Okay, so balik tayo ng sales. So, let's see kung paano gumamag-create ng sale. So, it's very easy. You can use barcode scanner. 
scan the code and automatically yung item mag-appear na dito sa ating sales panel. Or another way is dito sa ating category list, product category, just choose the category and then pick the product. And once you tap, automatic, lalagay na siya sa ating sales. Then, sometimes, mahirap hanapin yung item. You can use the search functionality. And then, lalabas yung item. So, pwede natin siyang i-filter by name or category. Then, you can select the item. So, one of the useful feature of this system is yung is this new sale so once once you want to create a new sale just just click this button at mawawala na yung current sale natin yung current sale nandito siya sa layaways so hindi nawala yung current sale so parang nakapark yung old yung previous sale mo and then, kung gusto mong balikan, i-click mo lang at babalik na yung previous sale mo. And then, sometimes, another feature is yung customer. So, yung system, ina-allow tayo na mag-create ng customer records. So, para mag-create ng customer, i-click lang itong button na to. And then, ma-redirect kayo dito. So, pwede nyong fill upan yung kanyang name and then pwede rin maglagay ng credit limit kung magkakaroon ng utang yung customer at saka discount so may mga other details pa such as first name, phone number, address and then you can also see the transaction ng user na yun Tapos, pwede rin kayong maglagay ng photo ng client ng customer. So, para i-incorporate yung ating customer sa ating sales, balikan natin yung old yung old sale. Click lang natin tong customer button. Then, search natin siya. So, yung previous customer natin, or the one that I choose, meron siyang discount. So, if pag yes natin, automatic magkaka-discount na siya sa sales na to. So, yan. It's another feature ng ating system. Another feature is yung split sale. Dito pwede natin split yung bill ng user. Then, another one is yung kung gusto natin i-print yung last ticket or sale, click lang yung button na to. And then, here naman sa kabila, we have this refund tsaka discount. Uh, this is the line discount. So, kapag mag-apply kayo ng discount sa specific item, pwede siya. And then, itong item naman na to is Itong icon na to is for total discount. So, pag gusto nyo discountan yung full item o full sale, pwede din. And then, next I'll show you yung another functionality which is the stock management or inventory. So, punta tayo ng stock. And then, go to product movement. So, dito pwede tayong mga pag-add ng inventory ng item. Tapos, pwede rin tayong magbawas. So, we have. So, meron tayong mga different kind ng pag-add tsaka bawas ng item. So, madidefine din natin yung sa system. And then, 
Another useful thing about this system is yung close cache. Yeah. So some sometimes we want to cra to track kung ilan na yung laman ng ating cache drawer. So matatrack din natin yon dito sa ating system. So once you have a sales gawin natin sales to dito sa ating sales pala we have we have other options kapag magbabayad na yung customer pwede yung cash pwede yung pwede rin ma-define yung kung kaninong account specific customer and then other options pa Okay. Then, balik tayo ng stock. Inventory. Ha, huh, I mean, close cash. So, once na may laman na yung, so every transaction natin sa system, recorded yon dito sa ating close cash. So, alam natin yung laman ng ating cash drawer matatrack natin yun at mayroon ding mga reports para dyan so others uh, useful features ng ating system is yung check in and out so dito yung employee pwede siyang mag check in saka mag check out So, matatrack nyo yung kanyang hourly presence, yung working hour ng isang employee. So, may report din tayo dyan. So, so another useful feature is yung mga reports. Uh, kailangan natin yun. So, we have around 20 plus reports ng sales. So, makikita nyo yung product sales, top 10 sales, mga best sellers. So, mag-generate dyan as PDF. So, marami kayong choices. And another is the stock reports. So, we have around 15 types of reports. So, you can use Depends on what fits your business. Merong inventory. Merong inventory reorder. So, makikita nyo kung ano yung mga kailangang i-order. Yung mga kulang na. So, masiset rin natin yan sa ating system. So, matatrack nyo yung especially for those grocery na uh, wala nang item. And then yung overstock ma makikita nyo rin dito sa ating system so another thing is the configuration so you can configure So, marami kayong may configure dito sa ating system like yung ticket and itsura ng ating receipt and then some logos, yung logo ng inyong business and then uh, and then many more. So, customizable yung ating receipt. So, another one is yung ating users management. So, check natin yung ating users management. So, you have users. So, dito pwede, pwede kayong maglagay ng mga users, specific users. And then, pwede nyo rin lagyan sila ng roles. And kung anong role yung empleyado. So, sa roles, editable din siya. Punta tayo ng
maintenance rules so dito is specific kung control nyo kung ano yung gusto nyong rule na gusto nyong ilagay doon sa specific user kung ano lang yung pwede nyang ma-access so configurable din yun sa ating system yan And then, yun, that's our basic features and functionalities ng ating system. I hope you liked the video. Have a good day. Thanks a lot.